start the program with the war in Gaza. The Israeli military has continued its bombing of the Gaza Strip overnight, while heavy combat continues on the ground. Gaza's Hamas-run health ministry says at least 241 people have been killed in the past 24 hours. In his first interview since the war began, the Palestinian president Mahmoud Abbas described the conflict as a grave crime against his people. All this comes shortly after the head of the Israeli army warned that dismantling Hamas could take many more months. Graham Satchel reports. Night after night, for weeks now, the families of those taken hostage take to the streets of Tel Aviv. They're putting pressure on the Israeli government to bring the hostages back alive and stop the fighting. They need to look at other options. The military pressure will continue but we see they, they don't have any results. The head of the Israeli army, Herzi Halevi, said the war could take many more months. There are no magic solutions, he said. There are no shortcuts in dismantling a terrorist organization, only determined and persistent fighting. In Gaza itself, hospitals are overrun with the injured and the dead. The World Health Organization says almost all the hospitals in the Gaza Strip have now stopped functioning. There's blood everywhere in these hospitals at the moment. We're seeing almost only trauma cases come through the door and at a scale that's quite difficult to believe. Um, it, it's, it's a bloodbath, as we, as we said before, it's carnage. In his first TV interview since the war began in October, the Palestinian President Mahmoud Abbas described the situation as a catastrophe and warns the West Bank could implode at any time. A huge crime has been committed against the Palestinians over the past 79 days, not just in Gaza, but also in the West Bank and Jerusalem. Gaza's Hamas-run health ministry says 241 people have been killed in the last 24 hours, taking the total to more than 20,000. Israel's campaign, which it says is to destroy the leadership of Hamas, shows no sign of ending. <laughs> Graham Satchel, BBC News. Well, earlier, our Middle East correspondent, Yolan Nell, explained what else the Palestinian president had to say in his interview. I mean, this was quite a wide-ranging interview, his first since the 7th of October attacks, and he spoke to Egyptian television. Of course, Egypt has been uh, playing a key role as a mediator, trying to uh, broker a new ceasefire deal between Israel and Hamas in recent days. Um, really, he talked about how this was unprecedented in the history of the Palestinian people, how Gaza had been rendered unrecognizable uh, by the, the fighting that was going on. He was very critical of the U.S., accusing it of prolonging the war uh, by consistently blocking resolutions at the U.N. Security Council calling uh, for a ceasefire. Um, but he also gave a warning that the occupied West Bank, where, of course, his Palestinian authority has limited governance, that that could also implode. And just looking at what's happened overnight, we are hearing from Palestinian health officials that six Palestinians have been killed in one of the urban refugee camps in the north of, of the West Bank, close to Tolkarum. Um, and he's, uh, that means that now more than 300 Palestinians have been killed uh, by Israeli forces, uh, by um, Israeli settlers as well since the 7th of October attacks. Now, in Tolkien, the Israeli military hasn't yet commented on what its operation there uh, was all about. And Yolande, you mentioned that Egypt's mediating rule. There are reports in Israeli and Arab media about Egypt proposing a ceasefire plan. Do we know any more details about that? Yeah, this was a, a ceasefire plan that also included um, an ability to release uh, more of the hostages, of course, more than 100 hostages uh, still being held in the Gaza Strip. And we've had hostage families um, as recently as last night holding protests, accusing their government of not doing enough to bring their loved ones home. Um, but what we understand at the moment is that the, the talks, um, that, that the initiative that Egypt proposed has uh, faltered, uh, with both Israel and Hamas really uh, blaming each other for that. But there was a senior Hamas official who also came out saying that uh, Egypt's initiative had prompted other countries to make their own proposals, that there were still uh, negotiations going on in the background, even as the fighting on the ground remains extremely intense. That was your land now. Well,